this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today I'm going to show you how to blacken flounder and snapper and really any other, uh, any other fish. This is one of my favorite ways to cook. It tastes great and just as good as it's super easy and doesn't require too much cleanup. And it's, it's simple. Here's everything you need, all right here. So number one, obviously you need some fish fillets. We have some, this is flounder and then we've got one snapper. So nice fresh fish. And this is the seasoning. I literally, this is all I put on there. This stuff is, is really good. Obviously, I'm sure there's a lot of different options you have. So choose at your liking. This stuff's excellent. Uh, need some olive oil. Doesn't seem to matter what kind. I, this is when I'm in a hurry. Um, it's getting, it's almost dark, or at least we have another hour and a half of daylight and I wanna get out on the water uh, after we eat. So I'm in a hurry, I'm using olive oil. If I'm going for max tastiness, I'm using melted butter. Just, just substitute if you need to. Another thing, very important, a good spatula. You'll see, uh, you'll see that in a second. A really good spatula and good. You need metal and you need it thin. Thin, strong metal. I really like this. It's from Toadfish. I'm a huge fan of these. Uh, cool thing when you set it on the ground, right? It has its own little keeper so that it's not getting stuff on this counter. It literally sits there and keeps it elevated and you just set it there and you don't have to worry about getting junk on the counter. I'm a huge, huge fan. And uh, butter knife. Last but not least, make sure you have one of these. This is how you test to make sure that it's done at the end. So, uh, number one rule when blackening fish, I've learned this the hard way, and I know a lot of people have, is don't do it inside. There's gonna be a lot of smoke. When you do it properly, it needs to be really hot, and there's gonna be a lot of smoke, so you have to do it outside. And so let's go see the apparatus, and then we're gonna go do all the details next. All right, so here's what I'm using. Cast iron pan is crucial. That's how you don't have to have it, but it sure is nice. It's gonna have a nice even burn. And again, it was outdoor. This is a simple stand I got on Amazon. It wasn't expensive. It was like 50 or $60, something like that. And it's been through a lot. I leave it outside. It's starting to get a little bit of rust, still works. And it just hooks up to propane. So I, uh, I'm low on propane. I just have the one and I just got the one straight from my grill and this thing's going. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fire it up. And, uh, and that way we can just start getting it hot. So I'd start up while I'm, let me just get this. There we are. So flames going, make sure to get it just centered while it's not burning up hot because this pan is gonna be really, really hot pretty quickly. And so let's make sure we're gonna get that and yeah, make sure that flame's hitting it nice. And, uh, and again, hotter the better. So that is going. So now we're gonna head back inside, get everything prepped. And as soon as we're done, this is gonna be ready to go and we still have some daylight and we can go catch some fish after we eat. All right, so now just to get everything ready, this is, again, this is the quick route. And what I like to have, I like to have this, this extra plate. I forgot to mention that earlier. And that's just what I put the olive oil in. The, the idea is to coat the, the fish with olive oil. That's what's gonna help just make sure it doesn't just burn. It doesn't just get too dry. And it helps to, uh, to get the, the actual seasoning to, uh, to stick. And so we're just gonna go one at a time and just olive oil, front, back, throw it on the thing. Front, back, throw it on a plate or right now we have a cutting board, whatever you want. There is no, really no rules. And again, this is all about just getting a nice thin coating of olive oil. Another trick too, before doing this, is have the fillets dry. It is important to, uh, again, you don't have to do it, but it does seem to uh, do a better job on just getting this olive oil coating when you don't have water. So I actually got some paper towels and I dried off this fish. You can see it's pretty dry and this olive oil is sticking to it nicely. So there's the flounder. Here is the snapper. Same exact thing. Try to get as much of this olive oil on there as possible. All right, so now we have, we have olive oil coating both sides, and now we're just gonna go ahead and just do one side with the, with the seasoning. It's, 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 it has a good kick to it, so maybe do some. If you have some people who have uh, less, uh, less tendencies for hot stuff, you know, do some with a lot, do some with a little bit less, kind of space it out. And, uh, and again, that's just for me, that's to my liking right there, a little bit more, and that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these on the, in the pan. It should be hot, it should be really hot now. And, while, and then when we throw it in there, we're just gonna do the other side. Simple as that. All right, so just got outside and this is ready. All right, I, I had uh, prepped this with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. It's smoking, that is a really, really hot pan. 
and this is going to taste really, really good because of that. So I do the thickest flakes first. Again, right down there, you can have that nice, that nice searing. That is going to be good. And then just try to maximize the amount of space you have. We'll probably have to do two pans worth here, but I just try to get them pretty close to one another. Make sure not to touch that pan. I, and then uh, yeah, this will be a flounder run. And we'll go ahead, we'll do a second one as well. One snapper in there. It's just like putting a little puzzle together. So we have that down and now we want to coat the other side. Both sides need to have, need to have this, uh, this nice blackening seasoning on there. And so this happens fast. When this, when this pan is hot like this, when it's immediately smoking, I'm talking like a minute and a half. Depends on the thickness of the filet. I started about a minute and a half, and then, uh, and then toward the end, we'll poke it with the, with the knife to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for a little over a minute now, and then we'll come back and do the flip. It's been over a minute, time to flip. Again, good spatula, you can get one at a time, flip it over, oh yeah, that is looking good. These are gonna be nice and juicy in the inside, a little bit of nice blacking on the outside. This is what you wanna see. You wanna see just a nice thin layer of, uh, of burnness, if you will. And again, it really helps to have a good spatula for this, as well as this knife to kind of guide it. I uh, chunked that one up a little bit, try to make them look a little bit more pristine, but that is what you wanna see. This is gonna be really, really good. And so again, I'm just gonna leave it here for a minute. And that's when I start doing the test. The reason this butter knife is here is to test to know exactly when they're ready. Okay, so it's been just right at about a minute and time to now start feeling to see if they're ready or not. So how you know if it's ready is when you put this knife down, if it goes right through, especially if it starts chunking like that, it's ready. Thinner ones are gonna be done first. That one's definitely ready. Let's go to the thicker one. That actually feels good too. If it goes through with no resistance, they're good. So pretty much all of these, even I'll get the thin ones first. Always smarter to make sure you don't overcook. Get these bad boys on a plate. Again, poke it just to make sure that one's excellent. This one we already tested, so do we did this one. Again, this is why it's nice to have a good spatula. You can get multiple at a time. Worst thing you can do is overcook them. Snapper, ooh yeah, that one's looking good. And then we'll do a poke on that one, perfect. These are all ready to go. And so this is plate number one of some really, really good blackened fish. That's how you do it. It's really simple. Again, get that pan nice and hot, blacken at both sides. Don't take too long. A minute and a half is plenty, sometimes too much for thinner fillets. Check them with the knife and you're gonna have yourself some tasty fish. We're gonna go ahead and do the second round. We're gonna do the same exact process. I'm gonna throw them right back in the same pan and then we're gonna go eat these things and hopefully catch some more this evening. If you have any questions on how to do this, please leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions on how to do it better, I am by no means a chef and I love to hear uh, new and better ways to do things. So don't hesitate to leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you all by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today